about that uh, that series after the dust settled a little bit or, or anything like that, or just yeah, we didn't. We didn't talk about it much. Did you just go about your business? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, get, a, get it out of the way. Uh, Zion, her B.I. were any of them able to practice today? Uh, Zion and Herb did. They went through a, part, a portion of practice, um, so they'll be questionable. Brandon didn't, and he won't be on the trip with us. So uh, it'll be, some, you know, he'll at least miss these three games. Okay. Yeah. You said he won't be making the trip. He won't be making the trip. He'll, he'll at least miss these three games. Okay. Yeah. And what? So has he been? And what? Where is he at in his concussion protocol so far? I mean, he's just at the beginning phases of it and trying to work through it, but it's not well enough to come in practice and things like that at the moment. But, you know, he's still getting better, just not well enough to practice and travel. Coach, could you mention that one more time? I couldn't hear you talk Zion. So Zion and uh, Herb went through a portion of practice. Uh, they'll be questionable for Friday's game. And just uh, bouncing off, obviously, like a huge win at home, going on the road, your, your team, your lineup, is capable of mixing and matching even with those guys out. Can you just talk about like what you can even improve on from the Mavs win? With you the know, deep lineup? Yeah, you know, that's the, the plan is to use our depth. And um, we were able to see it against Dallas. Now we had to play a, a, a pretty solid all around game, which we did. We executed on both ends of the floor, but you know, Fortunately for us, we have a team that we can throw different lineups out there in different groups. And guys have been playing well together. A lot of our young guys played last season. They have a ton of experience, so they can get on the floor. And uh, the level of play doesn't go down too much. Um, so it's a luxury to have. I was asked if he, uh, when his last time he didn't miss a shot was. He referenced Sacramento last year okay. when he went 4 4, but I think his dad told him that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just talk about his ability to shoot and even with a hand in his face? Yeah, you know, he, he's definitely a, a knockdown shooter. And um, what we love about him is that he's confident and he's not afraid of the moment. Uh, make or miss, we want him shooting those shots. And when he when he's not open, just make the next best play, which he, he's getting better and better at um, this season. Four games in, how would you assess where, where the defense is right now? Not where we want it to be, but um, we're content. Not complacent, but we're content where we are. Uh, we we want to keep building. It's early in the season. Things will happen, and we got to continue to adjust, uh, but we like where we are. After the, uh, the Dallas game, uh, Trey and CJ both talked a little bit about how much of a pain it is to practice against Jose. What is the, uh, the level of intensity that he's bringing on a day-in-day-out -day basis here? The way he plays is the way he practices. Uh, each and every day that he comes in this building, he steps on the floor, Jose gives it his all. Um, and he talks a little bit of mess at the same time. So he, he kind of turns practice up. It's always fun being in the gym with him. But at the same time, he's serious about what he does. Uh, and, and the guys recognize that. How does it help your team when you have just like cycles about competing? When, when, uh, I have when you just have like guys who are, I guess, like really intense about competing, even in like practice? It, it helps our team level up a bit. Um, you know, you have some, some dog days during the season where, you know, you don't really want to practice. It's, it's a tough stretch, but Jose, Najee, uh, Trey, Billy, those guys, they, they turn up in practice and it gets everybody going. CJ mentioned uh, sometimes you got to cut practice a little bit short. You got to cut scrimmages short because they get a little too intense when, uh, I do. when Jose's out there. I do, and I prefer it to be that way. Yeah, we sometimes we cut practice short for those reasons, but also, the intensity of the, the scrimmages uh, is extremely high, and um, we got we to gotta save some in the tank for games. How does that translate when you have that intense of a, of a scrimmage and you're able to just or practice and roll that into a game? Well, when we do practice or scrimmage, we want our scrimmages and practices to, to a degree, be harder than games uh, or mirror games so that there's no drop off no matter who we play. We step on the floor with uh, Dallas, we have Phoenix. We're accustomed to that level of physicality and the, the intensity of those games because we do it in practice. And after the Dallas game, we talked about CJ showing he could be more of a facilitator. What's going to stand out to you about the work he's done to show that different part of his game? He's doing a lot of work. Um, work on the court with his game individually, grabbing some of his teammates and going through sets, watching a ton of film. So he's putting in a lot of work um, to become better. 
at all aspects of the game, not just facilitating, but defense. But we were able to see not having a great shooting night against Dallas, but he continued to make the, the right play over and over again, and I think that's huge for me. Hey, well, I know it's just a regular season game, but is there a little extra since Phoenix, you know, based on last year and how it ended? Are y'all putting a little extra? We're definitely focused on the fact that we played them in the playoffs. Um, in the Western Conference, that's one of the teams that you have to go through. So that, that'll be on our minds. Thank you, Coach. Just, just how are you feeling? Uh, feeling better. Uh, that was a hard fall. Only I've ever, <laughs> I'm taking a lot of falls, but, but damn. Uh, now I'm feeling a lot better each day. Uh, just got some ones in with Brew. Feel great. And uh, just me and the team going to talk about further progression. And where, like, what was your concern level after the fall? Uh, at first, I was just like, man, I got hurt. But I stood up like, right, I'm going to be straight. But then I, I tried to make like a quick move. I was like, nah, I need to, I need to go chill. Have you, you watched it? Hop Have you watched it over again? Uh, Have you watched the fall again? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw, I saw the replay. And, uh, it was a good defensive play. He uh, he got all ball on it. Uh, which is all balanced and took a hard fall. Do you think you can be able to go tomorrow? Or see how you feel. Uh, questionable, questionable. Like I said, just gotta talk to the team, see where they at with it. I saw you hop off the bench with multiple times yesterday. Just obviously getting into it. Uh, can you just talk about? I mean, it's hard to obviously be on the bench and watch, but the, the effort from Trey and Jose and those guys to get that win. Uh. I mean, you got to think, uh, those dudes, they played in the playoffs last year. Uh, if you look at the season last year, a few guys went down, trades were made, and when their numbers got called, they uh, they stepped up. So to see what they did last night, it wasn't shock. It was more they doing what they do. I didn't get a chance to ask you part of Dallas game, but uh, what was that experience of like getting to go to Paris with uh, Luka and Jordan? Uh, it was a dope experience, uh, just from the standpoint of, you know, when I was a little kid, I never saw myself, I never thought about going to a different country because uh, my family didn't have the means to do it. So to be able to get a free trip to go out there uh, because of, of Jordan Brand, uh, you know, supporting me and Luca like that was a, uh, it was an honor. And being being around Luca as well, like outside of competing, uh, and he's a great dude. Just having one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Uh, it was a great experience. And you obviously knew what CJ could do before he got here. But what's it been like just seeing him try to expand his game, prove he could be more of a, a pure point guard rather than just the, the bucket getter he was in Portland? Uh, I mean, he was. I feel like when he was at Lehigh, he was the primary ball handler. And I just think that just you got to give his give him credit on his skill. He went from main ball handler to playing off ball his whole career. And to be able to come right back, uh, or come to the Pels, be the primary ball handler, and help lead us to the playoffs. You just got to give credit when it's due. And but seeing it from a day-to-day -day basis, and you know having a relationship with him, you see why he's CJ McCollum. Do you feel like being battle-tested early is obviously better for the long run because you know having two or three guys out a game or two at the end of the season, having it happen right now can only make you stronger down the line. Uh, I think that uh, I get. A, I got to give Coach Green credit on that. Um, you know, I think teams have conditioning tests that they do, and the first day of pra uh, first day of training camp, he said he had conditioning tests up on the screen. And he said, "I don't have a conditioning test where I'm gonna ask y'all to run a lot or do anything like that." The conditioning test is staying locked in the whole season. If guys go down, and your numbers called, being ready, staying mentally locked in, staying physically locked in. And that was just the early example of it. What's it like seeing the way Trey shooting the ball right now? <laughs> man, Trey got a clip, man. <laughs> Yo, when he uh, when he caught the one and kind of like looked around, and then I guess he realized, oh, I can shoot this, and shot it. And I was like, man, that's different. Uh, but it's just it's exciting to see from where he started his rookie year to where he is now. And you would think Trey's been in the league five years, how he shoot the ball with confidence. Um, but, I mean, he's just a special shooter. Thanks. 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 Do you know yet about tomorrow or anything like that? No, nah, I'm going to go uh, try to you know, shoot when we get 
to Phoenix today, see how it feels, and then go to, and go through shoot around tomorrow to see how it feels. See if I can go tomorrow night. In the, in the moment, how did you? I remember. I know you stayed in the game. But what did you think in the moment about? Thought you were just gonna be fine. Either? Yeah, I mean, I was gonna worry about that after the game. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't want to come out come out of the game, uh, you know, and leave my brothers out there. And so if I was able to get up, walk around, move. Um, I, couple trips up and down I was just trying to see if I could you know move around and I was good then but I knew it it gets stiff once the game was over. Have you, have you seen the play since then? Have you gone back and watched it? Yeah I've seen it. Do you think it could be a little bit yeah, worse they, than what it was? Yeah they told me I dodged the bullet. <laughs> um, I'm thankful. Thankful for the bullet I dodged. Hey, what was it like just watching the game having to watch it? It's always tough because you want to play and be out there with the, with the guys but um, I just had to be smart. A lot of people like they they know me uh, if I can walk, I, I'm willing to get out and play. Uh, but a lot of people have just been telling me to think more long term and not short term. I mean, that's what I've been trying to do. What do you think about Dyson's play? I mean, he he's been doing it, you know, pretty much all of preseason, uh, all of the practices. I mean, his work is just showing now. Uh, so hopefully, you know, he just keeps it keeps it going, stays you consistent. Hey, you guys are talking about the depth on the team. What was it like to see it on display in that game against Dallas? Uh, I mean, once again, it wasn't surprising because we see it, you know, every day. But um, I think it was good for uh, a lot of the guys to get out that doesn't, that don't get a ton of minutes to get out, you know, and show what they're capable of doing and showing how deep this team really is. And how do you feel about just where y'all are defensively for the I feel like we're doing a pretty good job, but like always, you know, you have room to grow um, and just staying consistent and, and growing. Um, I think. You know, we, we stay consistent, making it tough on guys defensively. I think we'll be good, you know, further in the season. You spent a lot of time shooting with Najee, like after practice and stuff like that. What did you think of just the improvement that he's made offensively? He steps in and starts and has 15 points, I think, in that game. I mean, Najee's always, you know, in my eyes, been a, a guy that can get buckets um, in a variety of ways um, and just adding that consistency to his jumper. Uh, you know, only opens up his offensive game even more. And so once again, uh, it wasn't surprising to me because I've seen it a ton, you know, uh, in practices, preseason, um, even workouts. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you remember anything about the, the Georgia Tech Virginia games? I, like clear. You know, I got a little bucket on him. Y'all can just go look it up. Step back between the legs. He couldn't guard me then. Can't guard me now. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, uh, we got a lot of, you know, obviously we wasn't the biggest fan of each other when we were playing against each other, but obviously when we got together here, we knew it was going to be special. And, you know, I, I love him. He's my brother, so it's pretty good to have him on my team. Are you, like, comfortable just being the guy who, like, people hate to play against? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's something you got to be uh, proud of, you know. That means if they, hate to play, they, if they hate to play against you, that means you're doing something right. Um, so that's that's my mindset. I want to be the mo like not going there, try to be the most difficult person to play against. What do you, what do you think of um, just a bunch of, including yourself, but a bunch of guys on the team getting that chance to start after they hadn't or get to play more? Just like Najee, um, Trey. Just what, what do you think of? Just um, take them? advantage of the opportunity. I know Coach is really big on it. You know, he said this is what builds characters. But he loves moments like this. You know, obviously we wish our guys was healthy. You know, um, and we want them to be on the team. But these are the guys. These are the times that people got to step up and show them how good our bench is and, you know, how good our team, how, how deep our team is. So, um, you know, um, I think we built for these moments. I think uh, the guys that, you know, Trey, Najee, me, uh, everyone on this team is, like, real big on, you know, whatever opportunity we get, we're going we to try to go full out with it. What's it been like seeing Trey break out the way he's had these past couple of years? Not surprising. We've seen it. Uh, we've seen it. Uh, during the season, I mean, during the summertime, we seen it last year. You know, he just needed to get comfortable with this whole situation, and um, he finally did, and he's showing that why, you know, he's belong and he's gonna be here for a while. You had a, a couple of pretty impressive finishes with, with Javale McGee. Is that something that's been in your bag? Is that stuff you added this summer? I mean, added would be great. Be great is very uh, good with me. Being on watching film, um, and you know, just being very uh, black and gray with me. Just telling me what it is. You know, not uh, telling me what I need to hear. Uh, not telling me what I want to hear, he's telling me what I need to hear. So, uh, you know, just going back and film, watching it, working it, working on my craft. So, credit to him and definitely building my confidence up. And then, you know, you know, watching, you know, I, point guard CJ, you know, little moves I learned from here and everyone, I'm just learning and picking moves up. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, they kicked. 
and they kicked us out of the playoffs. And um, obviously, it's tension there. But we want to go in there and play Pelicans basketball and win them and beat them at their crib. Do you feel like uh, you thrive in an underdog role? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think I'm gonna be underdog my whole life. You know, like I tell this everybody. Um, Nothing's gonna change from me being an underdog. I'm never gonna. I'm, I'll start growing a while ago. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna be this height forever. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to uh, just make my mark here and, you know, just try to grind this whole thing out. Are you looking forward to seeing Chris Paul again? I mean, yeah, he's a, like I say, he's a great player. I'm, I can't wait to guard him. I don't know if uh, it's something you like to talk about because it might be like a secret, but the, the sneak attack attempts on on Luca and you were able to steal steal it from Kleber, just talk about it. Is, is there a name for that? You're, I mean, nah, I mean, it's just more, I don't know, a lot of people got different names, but I don't really got one. I just try to get it. You know, I haven't got one how I wanted to one this year, but it's okay. So I know when I sub in or when I'm in the game, they like where 15 at. So that's the most important thing where they know when I'm in the game, they, they'll be in where, 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 where I'm at. So that's the most important thing to me. So we can just say Kleber got Alvarado? Yeah. I say Alvarado. There we go. That's a good one. Is it funny to see how much people are like mindful of it now? Guys are like screaming every time you're in the Yeah, game. yeah. I mean, it's they got a clear vision of last year, you know. So uh, for them to they they on it. Every team, I can't get one right now. So um, um, they, they I'm pretty sure there's in the sky report or maybe, oh they just telling this guy does this, but um, it's gonna come. Little little it takes time though. You know, people gotta forget about it and then I get back on it. Thanks, uh, I think, yeah, I think, yeah.